हरे जी आज हमारे बीच नहीं है यद्यपि मैं मलयालम समझता हूं तो मैंने पूछा यहाँ के कार्यकर्ता ने बताया आई शुड स्पीक इन इंग्लिश सो आई विल ट्राई टू डू दाई पूज्य स्वामी की ऑनरेबल जज ऑफ फतेह हाई कोर्ट नगरेश जी एंड वेरी सीनियर प्रोफेसर अनुज जी एंड मेनी अदर्स हैव ऑफर्ड देर श्रद्धांजलि इन मेमोरी ऑफ मान्य हरियतन Haryatan deserves eminently Sardanjali is of such prominent personalities who have carved their niches in their lives. Haryatan was known as Ranga Hariji outside Kerala. He was our Hariji. So generally, people in the northern part of our country do not have the initials as in the southern part. So that's why they used to call, ask, "What is this R?" So once, one, when once somebody asked me, I said, "It is respected, respected Hariji." But Hari himself might have told somebody that the it is his father's name, Ranga. So that's why the directors and people outside Kerala they know him as Ranga Hari Ji. About Ranga Hari Ji, all have told. through their personal experiences their interactions and association with haryatan in ramacharita manas in balkand from goswami kulisidas ji he has said he has written a line hari ananta hari katha ananta कहे ही सुने ही बहुविधि सब संता हरि इज अनंत हरि कथा इज अनंत अनलिमिटेड हरि हिमसेल इज अनलिमिटेड वी कांट कंस्यू हरि भगवान कृष्ण विष्णु हरि एंड इफ यू गो ऑन एक्सप्लेनिंग About Bhagwan Hari Vishnu, there is no end to it. You can use the entire earth as a paper, and use the entire water of the oceans as the ink, and you go on writing, and you can not finish. the stotra of the hari of vishnu of bhagwan and our hari eternal is also like that hari ananta hari katha ananta there are so many personal experiences interactions that the people of this say and elsewhere in the country and in the world have with swargiya hariyatan an intellect intellectual par excellence a writer of high caliber and eminence 
is seeker and narrator who can enlighten the enlightened. That's what some of the speakers have just now mentioned. In the first speaker, Santosh Kanejaji told about the three-day lecture series that uh, happened in Delhi and the senior most people, including Dharmonji and others, they were waiting for Hariyatun to speak the next day. Hariyatun is ingenuity was in his anecdotes. Commonplace examples with pregnant with meanings. He had a talent, a skill, to explain the things in multiple ways. Every time when he spoke about Hindu or Hindu Dharma, I have seen whenever I have attended his lectures, both the or his interactions with the Karyakartas or his deliberations in Baikas, he will come out with certain new ideas in this very hall. A few years ago, there is the 50th year of the Ekatma Manav Darshan as propounded by Dindal Padhaji. For that also he had a different explanation. I have not dwell on that for the paucity of time today. And he explained what is Hindu to here. And after three or four months, there was Bharatiya Vicharman's program in Karnavati, Gujarat, Ahmedabad. And Haryakun also speak in one of the sessions about Hindutva. And he gave all together different examples. Convincing. People would remember for whole life. So this was uh, the depth of his understanding and the skill and the talent to explain the things that he has understood, he has studied. As for the need of the audience, their age, their understanding, their knowledge, their enlightenment. Hariyatim was a master in these things, but Hariyatim was a Sangha Swami he lived Sangh, he built Sangh. He lived for the nation. His dedication was to humanity, being a real Hindu. His contracts were not confined to an organizational or ideological circles. It went beyond. Because he could embrace people belonging to different faiths, practicing various faiths, following different ideologies, propagating different ideas. There is no gap. There is no distance. He did not say that the other man, that is why he is not with me, I am not my person. He said, yes, it's possible. I have a Sangha Swayam Sivak as a Sangha Pracharak. His primary concern was to bring people together. Hariyatan, Hindi mein kehna hai to, ekant mein sadhak, lokant mein sanghat. In loneliness, when he is alone, he is a sadhak. And he did his sadhana 
which was a spiritual sadhana, which was nationalistic, through writings, jnana yajna. He performed the jnana yajna in supreme order, in superlatives. What he has written is more than 30 books. What he has spoken to the Karyakartas, which are not written, which are not come out as books, the organizational science, the understanding of the human beings, the intrapersonal relations, how to build a team, how to face a difficulty, these things are not written in any book. His books are on different subjects, but he has spoken to people. He was a Sangata in Lokan. He was an organizer when he was among people. This Sadhak and Sangata combination in his personality was unique. I had the great opportunity of being his assistant as Sahabodhik Pramukh. After Vijayati Parishad's responsibility, when I was given the Sangha responsibility in 2003, Hariyakan was the Akhilabharati about Dhit Pramukh. Sri Madhubai Kulkarni and myself were appointed as Sahabodhik Pramukh. And I was trying to pick up how the Bodhik Pramukh, the Bodhik Vibhara should work. And Hariyakan guided us, me. In a wonderful way, he did not even for a second make me feel that he is so senior, he knows so much, he was so friendly. He gave me the liberty to ask all difficult questions and personal queries. An organizer becomes a friend of the other human being. And this friendliness cutting across the age and experience in life and in organization makes the other person confident, makes the other person to pursue, to learn more. And Hari essentially did it with me and hundreds and thousands of others. Hariji would take even one word and explain it in so many ways. We have spent hours and hours and days and days in the Vaudhik Vibhag, in preparing the syllabus for the Sangha Chiksha Varga in Mumbai. We were sitting there and doing the things. And I found how Hariyatan has systematically developed and established the norms for the Bodhik Vibhag. He classified all the Bodhiks into various categories, then asked them to file the things. How the first year, the second year, and the third year of Sangha Shiksha Varga, the Bodhiks should evolve from one to the another. He was very keen in all those things. A training module of the Bhautik Vibhag. How it should be for a national level organization. Because people coming from different backgrounds, somebody from Tamil Nadu and Kerala, somebody from Assam, somebody from Jammu Kashmir, Punjab and Madhya Pradesh. So you have to give in one Bhautik, in one Charcha, the entire gamut of the whole nation. His understanding is different. He comes from a very small village. He finished his second year in He comes to the third year Varga in Nagpur. How his understanding can be elevated to that level? So how we should think about the Kuba for this? Hariyatan was very keen on these minute details. 
So that's why he was an organizer for existence. He knew how the human minds work because of his vast reading, because of his extensive tours within the country and in more than 30 other countries in the world. He interacted with people. He was a great psychologist of human minds. He would understand. So that is what I saw in Harriet. He was a friend, he was a guide, he was a counselor. He was a karma yogi. Adarsya Vrati, Dhaya Yatri. And people compared him, that, compared him that he was a Rishi and Rishi Tullian. People know that he was having great interest in picking up languages. He could speak maybe a dozen languages of Bharat. Not only he could speak some languages for interaction, for the organizational purpose, but he tried to understand what are the literature in those languages. One thing that is explained in Malayalam, how the same thing is explained with different examples between the socio-cultural backgrounds and literary supports in different parts of the country, he would go on searching for these things and he would use those things in his interactions and in his bodhic, in his deliberations. So Hariyakam was a great inspiring personality for the Sangha Karyakarta anywhere in the country and in the world because of these qualities. They would wait for Hariyakam to speak to them. They would wait for Hariyakam to interact with them, stay in their houses, because every moment is a moment of enlightenment. Every moment is a moment of joy. Every moment is a moment of learning. Every moment is a moment of having the great, friendly, affectionate living with an elderly person of the family. That was the idea. Hari Anand, Hari Kata Anand. Hari Atanji was a Pranta Prachara and Rashtriya Sensei of Sangha Kerala had the opportunity of having illustrious Pracharaks laying the foundations of the Rashtriya Sensei of Sangha in this part of the country. Madhavanji, Parameshwaranji, Venuji, Bhaskar Rao, Hariyat can belong to the Galax. And these great men, Swayam Sevas, they were Pracharaks. But they created men of quality. They created men of confidence and courage. They created an organization that could take on any situation, face the adversities, live for a great cause, and inspire innumerable people in their lives. Hari Ekan, after Bhaskar Rao, leading the organization as Pranta Prachara, or being an organizer of the Pranta Prachara, was not an ordinary thing because Bhaskar Rao Kalambi was a master organizer. And I remember after Bhaskar Rao left Kerala and when he was given the responsibility of the Manamata Kalyana Ashram. There was an article about Bhaskar Rao in one of the English magazines where they had written 
having done his work exemplarily well he has handed over the reins to a label assistant these are the lines written in the maths as we get the person carry karta you to come to kerala visit different places i was from karnataka i had a different uh, environment and sangha pracharak should not go to hotel for a cup of tea or coffee when one morning i was going with him sangha shaka because i, was, I had come for the vidarth prasurak and i was staying in sangha karyalaya or some prasurak karyakarta then we were going together to sangha shaka then ariyatan was sah pranta pracharak ki then yas to arhimedi pranta pracharak i must think pranta pracharak he asks would you like to have a cup of coffee yes but in karyale could not there so we can go here talk around it oh i was surprised i was astonished because i never knew that a pracharak would ask another pracharak to go to hotel because that was something unheard in the karnataka because there was no tea prepared in sangha karyale in karnataka so i thought that how but uh, being a vidyarthi person for so i was less uncertain so <laughs> i said okay you know we have to then my whole idea because that was the early interactions with haryana that was in the 80s after that for nearly 43 44 years i was meeting haryana and like everybody else every time it was refreshed every time it was and like every time it was something learning something new every time it was a joy hariyatan lived for 90 plus years people live but somebody has said don't add years to the life try to add life to your years hariyat and did that exemplarily well in superlatives in his life every moment of his life he added life to that moment he added life to the years that he lived jeevan utsah live for a purpose live with a great cause live with other human beings so that they like to meet you again and again and hari jan ji did it and he was a person who was rooted in culture but had the most modern approach he was not averse to technology he was not averse to modernism he did not comment upon the modern things adversely no never but he always emphasized the cultural values the roots but at the same time he allowed the new generation to come up with newer ideas of the modern days so this unique combination in life how it could be hariyatan showed it through his example personally hariyatan has written and spoken only about hindu dharma hindu nationalism literature ramayana mahabharata of course he has written some six seven characters of mahabharata vyasa mahabharata various characters he has written in malayalam people have read it some of them have been translated into hindi and other languages and he has written as just now swami ji told the misconceptions about ahalya something about the which is not there in valmiki ramayana something that has been told in in this thing he said that is in pandava gita so such things swami ji has said 
వాళ్ళు సోషల్ అయిపోయింది నాకు ధరంపేట్ కాలేజ్ ఇన్వైటెడ్ అయింది టు డెలివర్ ఎ లెక్చర్ అండ్ హీ డెలివర్ లెక్చర్ ఆన్ సమ్ అబౌట్ ధర్మ అండ్ ఎక్సెట్రా దెన్ ది ప్రిన్సిపల్ ఆఫ్ ది కాలేజ్ న్యూ దట్ వీ నోస్ అబౌట్ కలీ విబ్రాన్ ఈ లెక్చర్ అర్గే ఫస్ట్ డేబల్ అండ్ మహాభారత్ అర్థంతి అండ్ ధర్మ ఇన్ మహాభారత్ and second day his lecture was on all to the different topic kalil gibran and hariyat is speaking about kalil gibran people of rajasthan he had read that means his reading was not confined to one culture or one ideology he tried to understand things from different perspectives for that he read russian literature he read kalin gibran he read other books so that is how haryatan has been a great inspiring personality for all of us for so many years people explain uh, mentioned about his uh, writing of uh, guruji's uh, complete works 12 volumes there were 25000 letters were collected those letters were written by guruji valwal kapi to various karyakartas in his lifetime and uh, 25000 letters were there and 15000 letters came to editorial section of the guruji complete works in nagpur and the chief editor was haryatan he had to select some letters so 15000 letters he had to read and he read it read them and then he selected some letters so that is why he was an authority on guruji golwalkar and that he wrote another book about guruji with the authentic information so he, he was a researcher for life he was an observer he observed things so keenly that is why the anecdotes the proverbs the references the allusions they were authentic they were interesting and they were giving new ideas to people and they were convinced sri hariyatan was friendly but he was a man involvement with unattachment he was involved with people but unattached nirmohi snehi but nirmohi he was agrahi he was large upon it jaldbazi nahi he was not in a haste he will emphasize but he will give time you can do it as you want and his last letter which he written to the prant pracharak what should be done after his death is an example that how a sadhaka who wants to be anonymous should live alexander pope's poem is there happy the man who sits and hears a few petrol lake at pump point into the deity here let me die unseen and unheard unlamented let me die let me live unseen and unheard unlamented let me die not a stone and bare in life where i lie this is the wish of a quiet life by alexander pope a great poet in english history hari ekin true to the indian traditions and true to the sangha prachar tradition he wrote those wonderful lines in his letter what should be done after his death and there is that shloka which has been 
chanted here in the beginning, gives the message. And those two lines are also there. Bharatri Hari has written Neeti Shataka Vairagya Shataka and Sundara Shataka. In Neeti Shataka he says, Nindantu Neeti Nipunaya Jivastu Vantu Lakshmi Samavishatu Gakshatu Vaya Testam Addeva Marana Mastu Ivantareva Naya Tata Prabhicharanti Padana Dhira And such a dhira was our Hariyate. Nindantu Neeti Nipunaya Jivastu Vantu that the people who are knowledgeable people may comment adversely or may praise. That doesn't deter the person. Lakshmi Samavishatu Vakshatu Itaishtam. Wealth may come, may not come. Adjeva Maradavasti Vivan Pareva. The death may come today or after ages and ages. But these things do not make any difference for the dhira. Nyaya Patat, one who walks on the path of values, on the path of great ideas, they do not deter, they do not disturb the person who walks along those lines. Dvayuno Purusha Dagram Surya Mandala Dehidino Mahabharat says Two kinds of people They are Surya Dev They will go beyond the Surya Parivrat Yoga Yuktascha Prane Chadamuke Hataha Those people who died in the battlefield defending the motherland. Rene Chajanukya Hata. And such people, they cross the sun and go beyond. Surya Vedina. And the other kind of people are Parivrat Yoga Yuktas. Yoga Marga Parichalte, who is Parivrat Jivan Jite, I say, Lord. Surya Bhedan Karate Hain. Mani Hari Ji, Us Prakar Ke Surya Bhedan Karne Wale, Ek Amar Chesan, Ho Rahe. Sangha Ke Pracharak Jeevan Te, Bhoot Sare Loge, Divya Deye Ki Ura Tapasthi, Jeevan Abhar Adi Chale Chale Ta Hai. Amar Tattva Ke Amita Chadana, Prano Me Utsarga Chadana, Kamana, जीवन का शास्त्रों से व्रत लेकर साधक हस कण कण गलता है। The person who has accepted the great noble cause in his life, at tapas, he doesn't bother about his personal needs, his personal egos, etc. He lives for a great cause. And every moment of his life, every cell of his body, they are spent for the great cause that he has embraced, that he has chosen. And that Shashwata Vrata, that Jeevan Vrata, makes him the great. Hariyatan has given us a great example of his own life as Swayam Chiruk, as Pracharak, as a person of this noble niche. And Shraddhanjali is not to do our kartavya our duty and express our kutajnata, our acknowledgement, our gratitude 
to a great person and my work is over. Shraddhanjali is not for that. Shraddhanjali ordains us that you are having a Shraddha on somebody, on something, on some greater thing. And that Shraddha has to be imbibed in us, in our physical body, in our mental status, in our actions, in our speech, in our karma, vachana, and mana. And that Shraddha should lead us to the great qualities that the person has lived for. So that's why I pray Almighty to bless all of us some qualities, even if in a minimum quantity of Manya Hariyatan and inspire us to work for the great cause of Bharat and great cause of humanity. With these words, I pay my homage to the hallowed memory of Hariyatan.